Hello, guys, and welcome back to Coast to Coast Sports NFL Power Rankings Week 3 Edition, Drew Edition. No more of that Levi Power Ranking BS put in, you know, the Broncos in their top 20 and all that. We're going to get right into it, and immediately you're going to see those Broncos I just aforementioned because we have 32, 31, and 30 Panthers, Giants, and the Broncos. Levi, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know how I feel. I, I I do agree, though. The Broncos have looked absolutely terrible. I would argue for the there to be one more team in this tier, though. I still think Tennessee belongs in the yeah. eighth tier as well. But, you know, it, it it's it's apples. And I've orange. seen Tennessee fight a couple of times. But, yeah, those these three teams suck. And yeah. they're going to suck the whole season. I think the, Panther, the Panthers are by far the worst team. Maybe should have had their own tier. I think yeah, they're really, really quickly, bad. What's your take on Andy Dalton? Uh, taking over for I Bryce. I think they should have let Bryce Young ride it out. Um, yeah, from what I've heard, it's not them giving up on Bryce, quote unquote. It's them letting Bryce Young kind of analyze from the sideline and not just getting pounded every weekend. So I understand it from that point of view, but you got to think, what is that young man feeling so early on in his career? Yeah. My my hope is that they have guaranteed Dave Canales another year because if it's if this is just Canales throwing a Hail Mary, like, I don't want to get fired, so I'm going to play Dalton that's simply dumb. because I think he's better. I hope that's not what it is, but it's the Panthers. They're terribly run, so that could be what it is. And that would True. be really unfair to Dave Canales because you can't expect a 39-year-old first-year coach in that situation. You can't expect him to succeed. No. 29 through 24, trap game. I okay. say trap game because I think all of these teams – are teams that you can, uh, any team in the NFL, including the Chiefs, including the 49ers, can go in, not expect a loss, and they get upset. All these teams have some talent, but all have a lot of problems. Starting in the top left, you have the Commanders. Is Jaden Daniels legit? I think so, but I just don't think there's enough talent around him right now. At this point, the Patriots, they had a nice statement week one win against a Bengals team that didn't look like they knew what they were doing. And then they go into Seattle. Oh, no, they, they stay home in Fox. They play Seattle in a game they probably could have slash should have won against another kind of mediocre to bad team. They couldn't get it done. So that's why they're in this tier. The tight ends, they fought against the Jets. They could have stolen a win against New York, but talent wise, they're not there yet. Will Levis don't love him. Uh, and then you got the bears and this is kind of low for the Bears. So I'm interested to see what you think about that. But from what I've seen, the offense is abysmal. It's not all Caleb Williams fault. But the offensive line, I think, is maybe one of the worst in the NFL. And Williams is getting into kind of a Russell Wilson habit where, yes, he makes a lot of plays. He extends a lot of plays. But a lot of these sacks are because he holds onto the football, not knowing when to throw away the ball. Then you got Colts, kind of low for the Colts as well. But from what I've seen, I know they barely lost to the Packers, but it looked like the Packers were kind of the better team throughout that one. And then you have the Raiders, another good team, but I don't think Gardner Minshew's uh, legit. Yeah, my my. so the Colts and the Bears are the two that I would have higher. You know this. Um, yes. The Bears, because I love their defense, and the Colts, because I still, I know he played really, really poorly last week. I mean, he was maybe the worst quarterback in the NFL last week. Richardson I, was terrible. Yeah. I still think Richardson has talent. So with, with Indianapolis, they play Chicago next week. So I think if, if the Colts lose that game to the Bears, that will start to – I'm already starting to lose my faith in them. I had them as a borderline playoff team. I still think they could go on a run, but if they lose to the Bears, if they fall to 0-3, then I think I'm going to start to kind of agree with you. Um, but I actually think they'll beat the Bears. I think that Chicago, they have a great defense, but I think Caleb Williams is just struggling. So I, I can see why you have the Bears down here. Again, I would say Bears and Colts – I'd put them both in my top 20 Colts slightly ahead of them. Um, but again, it's not super much of a discrepancy yeah. right now. I, I don't think either will be in the playoffs. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not arguing Richardson doesn't have talent, Levi. I yeah. just think he that just Richardson. It. Yeah. It's a little too much talent. It's a little not enough uh, game awareness sometimes for yeah. Mr. Richardson. Also not getting much help over their offensive scheme and, and, um, game plan wise, don't love what they're doing in Indianapolis. 
Let's move on. Someone will sneak in 23 through okay. 18. I think one of these teams are going to make the playoffs. I don't know about multiple of them, but all six of them, if you said, yeah, they turned it around and they were able to kind of sneak into the playoffs, I'd say, yep, yeah, makes sense. You got the Browns top left, really good defense. Deshaun Watson, bottom five quarterback in the NFL. You say that five years ago, people say you're crazy. He was on kind of a, a, a CJ Stroud type rise. That's a pretty good comparison in my eyes. And now just completely fallen off since all the allegation stuff. The Dolphins, who I had super high, top 10. I had them going, I don't know if it was the divisional round or the AFC championship even. I think it was divisional round. I had them in the divisional round. And now, you know, I reserve the right to change my opinion this much just two weeks into the season because, look, two is gone. What are you going to do with the quarterback position? They look lost offensively, and defense is their weak point. So if defense is your weak point and you look lost offensively, then where are you as a team? You a special, you a special teams team? I don't know. So uh, I, I don't love what the Dolphins are doing right now. They're 22. Jacksonville, 21. Not much to say. I don't love what Peterson's doing over there. I think it might be time to change it up over in Jacksonville. Then you got the Seahawks. They make my top 20. I think the Seahawks are a good team. They're 2-0. They might be the lowest 2-0 team on this list, but that's because they beat two bad teams. So week three against the Dolphins, another chance to beat another kind of mediocre bad team. But if they go 3-0, maybe it's time to put the Seahawks up a little bit higher. Then you got the Cardinals. Look, the Cardinals could be some of my biggest jumper very, very soon. But I need to see a couple more weeks of the Cardinals. They played a great game week one. Uh, you know, who, who they play against? Um, the Bills. Bills. And they were Bills, close. Yes. And they, they, they took it close. And then they played um, and destroyed the Rams. So I have the Rams quite a bit higher. You'll see that later. And then the Buccaneers. I like the Bucs, but still think they, they have a little work to do. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good tier. Um, I would say again, Browns. I think you're maybe a little too low on, but again, it's tough to move the Browns because yeah. I really hate Watson, but I am a. I do love their defense, and I think they can win eight or nine games. I'll tell you what. Two of these teams are not going to be sneaking it. Two of them have no chance. Okay. So who do you disagree with me? It's it's the two teams that are down south. The the Jaguars and the Dolphins are not sneaking in. So I would actually put them lower. Um. The, look, wow. the Dolphins. It sucks that you're missing Tua, but you're right. The defense is terrible, and Skylar Thompson is not going to win maybe any games. I mean, he did. He had that one playoff game where he looked okay, but I don't believe in Skylar Thompson. Jacksonville as well, man. I, I, I may that might be one of my worst all-time takes last year when I had them going to the AFC uh, championship game. Dude, the, the Jaguars are terrible, and they've lost seven of their last eight. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence looks like a shell of himself. So I would I would move them lower. Um, Seattle's interesting because they're going to beat Skylar Thompson, and then they might lose to Detroit. But after that, they get Daniel Jones. So the Seahawks are going to be four and one, and I don't know if I will be able to fully buy in because it'll be four and one, but with four pumpkin head wins over four of the worst yeah. quarterbacks. But still, they are they're after a good start. I would say I'm surprised there's two more teams I would throw into this tier that you are a little more bought in and we're going to get to them. But I think okay. you probably know which two teams I'm talking about. Maybe we'll see. Levi, oh, right before lot. we move on to this next tier five, what do you think about the Cardinals? I'm interested. You yeah. know, NFC um, West team that have looked really good. Yeah. Well, I think the, the NFC West just got a lot more competitive last week because initially I said Rams and Niners up here, Seattle and Arizona down here. And now I think, it's getting closer, right? Rams and Niners, I still think are better, but all of a sudden, instead of it being like Rams at 12 wins, Niners at 11, I feel like it's maybe Rams and Niners can maybe win 10 games. And yeah. on the other side of things, instead of Cardinals and Seahawks winning six, now it's like, okay, maybe they'll win eight. So it's a lot closer now. Yeah. I'm not ready to jump off the Rams and Niners yet, but the Cardinals and Seahawks are making noise. Well, your Seahawks are first in the NFC West. So maybe we should just maybe we should just stop the NFL season right here, right now. We can go to the playoffs. All right, let's go to tier five. Tier five could win the Super Bowl, could lose every other game. Not sure about these four teams. These teams, you know, 
the Steelers could really make a run off their defense. Russell Wilson can come back and play like he did a few years ago. They could win the whole thing. The Falcons, Kirk Cousins, if they could do that last drive every single game, they're a top 10 team in the NFL. The Vikings, Sam Darnold. Maybe it's just the Jets suck at quarterback management because Sam Darnold is looking like a top 10 quarterback in the NFL with some of the weapons he got without Addison. He still put up, a, you know, a crazy performance. That defense is pretty good as well. They beat the 49ers. That is a huge win. And then you got the Rams who, yes, they're 0-2, but Sean McVay can, you know, I, I'd, follow, I'd follow Sean McVay to anywhere i think that guy is still one of if not the best coach in the nfl they're going to turn it around i'm not worried about the rams but all four of these teams they also have something that's holding me back from saying these guys could be better the falcons they got outplayed for three of the last four quarters maybe even you know five of six of the game the falcons looked like a worse team than the eagles the steelers who knows about the quarterback situation? Same with Vikings. Maybe Sam Darnold isn't legit. And the Rams, is Stafford washed? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, let me start with this, Drew. I think you got the Steelers perfect. I think they are the definition of an average team at 16. Um, look, they're the Mariners of the NFL. Amazing on defense. They're not going to let you score. But on offense, they are terrible. Now, you're right, though. If Russ comes back and if he plays the way he did even last season in Denver, when he led the league in touchdown to interception ratio, then they'll be good. They'll they can take this net they can take that next step. Yeah. But they need Russ to come back, play healthy. Um Falcons, I think you're a little low, but I'm okay with it. Um I would put the Falcons at the top of this tier ahead but they could of the be 0-2 very easily. Let's be real. Ninety-seven percent win probability for the Eagles. That's true. And I do understand why you have them below Pittsburgh because they lost. So that's, I'm okay with it. I think Rams are again, I have the Rams higher, but I understand having them down here at 0 and 2. But and I agree 0 with 2. you. I agree with 2. you that I'm not worried about them. So again, we, we agree. Yeah. The big disagreement here is Minnesota. Um, and, and I've seen this before. I've seen this before out of Sam Darnold three years ago, Carolina Panthers. He starts the season 3 and 0, and everyone's like, oh my goodness. Sam Darnold's back. He's back. He's good. He's a good. Te- he's a good quarterback. Everyone, we misjudge Sam Darnold. They're three and zero. And then what happened? They finished the season five and eleven. So I, I am not ready yet to buy in on Sam Darnold, but that's okay. I understand where your sentiment is coming from, Levi. But look, after week one, they beat the Giants. You can't argue with this win over the 49ers. Well, you can by saying that uh, it's. It's a fluky game, and Brock Purdy played really poorly. I think that game said more about the Niners being maybe not as good as we think than the Vikings being better than we think. But the Vikings, by all, you know, everybody's estimates were a bottom 10 team in the NFL, and on the other side of the coin, the Niners were a top five team. So any way you want to slice it, the Vikings beating the 49ers is something I have to reward, and that's why I put them here. Tier 4, 13 through 10. So the Saints sneak into my top 10. Oh, maybe I'm overreacting a little yeah. bit. Maybe yeah, Derek Carr we'll has a, a, a little twinkle in my eye. But I like the Saints. I think what they're throwing out there is super good. They made the Cowboys look like chop liver. They're at 11. The Cowboys have some serious problems. But I think Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb are still good enough to compete and win uh you know the nfc east potentially then you got the Bengals who look the Bengals 0 and 2 but joe burrow's been 0 and 2 for four of his last five years i mean this has happened before and every time he's able to turn it around so right when joe burrow's hair starts to turn brown and the leaves start to change you know the Bengals are going to be a top 10 team in the nfl and that's yeah. why right now they're right outside the top 10. But you better believe it. In a couple months, when we're slicing into that Thanksgiving turkey, the Bengals are going to be one of the more scary teams in the NFL. Then right before them is the New York Jets at 13. Kind of a scary win against the Titans, but you got to give them a little bit of slack. Aaron Rodgers still getting back into the flow of things. And I do think Rodgers is still a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. 
The tier name is Elite QBs. You obviously got Aaron Rodgers. You obviously got Joe Burrow. You got Dak Prescott. And then maybe the best of them all, Mr. Money Derek Carr. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, um, Jets and Bengals. I actually have them both in my top ten for uh similar reasons to what you said. For the Jets, I think I I still like their defense, even though they were terrible against San Francisco. I think it was just a week one. It was a matchup thing. I think the Jets have a good defense, and I think Rodgers. He looked in the second half against Tennessee. I it felt like I was watching vintage Aaron Rodgers, and that was the first time I looked like that since yeah. the last couple weeks of that 2022 season when he was trying to will the Packers into the playoffs. So it's been a while since I've seen that out of Aaron. If he gets better, well, he the Jets could be much. a top 10 team. Cincinnati, again, I have them in my top 10 because, look, it, it's it's Joe Burrow. If this is what he does. He starts 0-2, everyone sells their Bengal stock, and then he wins seven in a row uh, unless he gets hurt. So either he's going to get he hurt or they're going to be – I mean, literally every season it's either he gets hurt or they go to the AFC championship game. That's the only two outcomes we've seen so far. So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to assume he's going to get hurt. I'm going to assume that they are AFC championship contenders. Dallas. I like where you have them. They, they're a wildcard team right now. They they don't feel like a team that's going to roll through the division. Um, no, which is, roll? which is tough. No. Cause I don't believe in Philadelphia all that much either. So I'm not sure who's going to roll through that division but it's not going to be Dallas. Um, I think, yeah, but the Saints is is the big problem here, Drew. And again, you're, you're falling for the early season, uh, which I understand, you know, power rankings and, and we want to get where they're at right now. They've but dominated, Levi. I, I, let me tell you a story, Drew. Last year, last year I was in San Diego. I was taking a stroll through the beautiful city and I was listening to my favorite podcast, First Things First. And it was week two or three. I don't remember which week it was, but I listened to a full hour of them talking about the Cowboys. And you know who they had lost to, Drew? They had lost to the Arizona Cardinals. They they got blown out by the Cardinals. And it was, I think it was week, it might have been week three, but it was early in the season. And it was the Cardinals. And nobody believed in the Cardinals. Now I understand the Saints are two and oh, and they also beat the Panthers, but come on, it's it's the Panthers. Um, so I think we're gonna look back in three months at this game and say that was much more like that Cardinals game than it was a, the saints have arrived. Maybe I'm wrong. I kind of hope I'm wrong. Cause I have a lot of saints on fantasy. I got Rashid Shahid, Chris Olave, Alvin Kamara, Juwan Johnson, and Derek Carr in separate leagues. Wow. So I really hope that the saints are legit. Cause that would be great for me, but I don't know. I just, I, I struggle. And, and look, Derek Carr, I mean, it's, the elite QBs thing, Drew, I commend you for trying, but Derek Carr is not an elite QB. 47 and 44 in two games. That's pretty unheard no, of. No, they, they scored a lot. They've scored a lot. And look, if they beat the Eagles, I will buy in. Well, in a league where passing offense is on a decline, Down. it's, it's yeah. the lowest since I believe it was like 2012 or something like that. Derek Carr is saying, "Screw the numbers. I'm gonna throw for. I'm gonna throw for the game." Yes. Um. Let's go to tier number three. So these are the affirmative top ten teams. Uh, we'll see what you think about them, Levi. We got one problem away. I'm only one problem away. You can fill in the blank. We got the Ravens at nine. We got Packers eight, seven. We have the Chargers, maybe a little high for some people, but I like what Harbaugh is doing down there in San Diego. Six or non San Diego, Los Angeles now. Wow, that's a blast to the past there. Six, we got the Detroit Lions, and five, we have the Eagles. Eagles might be a little high, even for me, but then I had to think back. I said, okay, look, Saquon Barkley catches one football, they're two and oh, and I probably have them top five. So I'm going to go with that assumption. All five of these teams, I think, are just one problem away from kind of getting to that next step. With the Eagles, I think it's coaching. Uh, with the Lions, don't really trust their defense. The Chargers, I don't think they have enough weapons. You go up to the Packers, kind of same thing. Don't love their weapons up there. And then the Ravens, it's tough. What is their problem in Baltimore you don't quite know, but it's just something. It just feels like the problem isn't necessarily Lamar, 
but it's Lamar unable to beat competitive AFC teams. It seems like it happens every year. Yeah. Okay. So four of these teams, I agree that they're in the top 10. Not um, the Eagles. Which one do you think I don't have in the top 10? Uh, I would guess the Eagles. Incorrect. I'm not sure how I feel about Philadelphia, but I do have them in my top 10. Chargers. Chargers. I do have the Chargers in my top 10. Okay. Wow. Uh, geez. Maybe I'll keep guessing here then. Uh, let's go Ravens. Correct. And I'm, okay. I have the Ravens. This might be insane. Where do you got Ravens at? I have the Ravens at 16. Whoa. Hold yeah. your roll. I'm kind of out on the Ravens, Drew. They're, wow. I mean, losing to the losing to the Chiefs, excusable, right? By a toe. Losing to the Raiders is not. And I think so. Let's let's look at their schedule really quick. I want to I'm going to read you off the games they have coming up. Okay. Dallas. Do you think they win? I do. Bills. Do you think they win? No, I think the Bills are really good. Bengals. Uh. What day is that? Are we getting into pumpkin spice latte weather at that point? That's week five, so we're we're in early October. <laughs> nah, I'll give them the win over the Bengals. I'll so give now them they're the two win. and three. Then they get the Commanders. They should win that three and three. Win. Tampa at Tampa Monday Night Football. I'll give Tampa a win. I I like what Baker's doing over there. Okay, then Cleveland at Cleveland. I I'll go Ravens. Okay, so now they're four and four. They let's say they beat Denver. Five and four. Okay. Then another matchup with Cincinnati. Uh, we'll give Cincinnati that one because it's yeah. Cincinnati. Five and five. Then they get the Steelers, who, by the way, Lamar Jackson, only one career win against the Steelers. Make that dose. Make that dose. Make it two. Okay. Six and five. Then there's the balloons. What is that? Then the Chargers. Sorry. Uh the Chargers. Um at LA again. Yeah, give me the Chargers. Give me the Chargers. Now there's six and six. Then they host Philly. Host Philly, give them a win. So you think they, so if you have Philly ranked ahead, but okay, you have them winning that. But I think home game, it, it turns into later in the year. Jalen Hurts doesn't play well in November okay. on. So really. seven and six. Then they get the bye. Then it's Giants. They should win in New York. So eight and yeah. six. Then they have to make the playoffs with this stretch run. Another game against the Steelers on Christmas, which again, I know you say they'll win that could be second a loss. one. That could be a loss. Could be a yeah. loss. Then the Texans, the it's Texans, tough. week 17. This is a tough schedule. Levi. And then they finish lie. with another one against Cleveland. I just don't see how they're going to get to 10 wins this year. I think they could win maybe eight, but I don't see them as a as a 10 win team. And That's I interesting. Don't know. They have a really it's tough a schedule. Difficult, I mean, outside of Denver and the Giants and Washington, there's really only three gimmies in that schedule. Yeah, I and mean, they had a combination one, of the AFC the having a lot of good teams, uh, specifically their division. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I think if they make the playoffs, it's going to have to be because Lamar figures out how to beat the Browns and Steelers, which he struggles against. He's normally now he beats Burrow. He's like seven and one against Burrow, I'm pretty sure, but he's terrible against the Steelers and the Browns. So yeah, I'm worried. I'm I'm very worried. Uh, the other four right. I like um, Chargers. I'm I'm this close to really buying in on the Chargers. I'm you holding like back. I'm holding back a little, but I have them at 10, so I, I do think they're a okay. top 10 team. And then, yeah, Eagles and Lions, these are the two teams that I said preseason would be in the NFC Championship game. And it's it's tough because I still kind of think that because I haven't seen enough out of the Niners or the Rams or Dallas. And like I said, I don't really buy into the Saints yet. But again, I... I don't know. Maybe t- Tampa. I kind of like Tampa a lot. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But Tampa's not no chance. Are they going to oh, that NFC championship Detroit. game? Let's see your tier two. Tier two. Legit Super Bowl competitor. We got the Texans and we got the Bills. Both elite QBs, but don't necessarily always need to rely on the quarterbacks to go win you a football game. Especially the Bills. The Bills, it used to be the Josh Allen show up there in Buffalo. Consistently, it was Josh Allen, go make a play. Josh Allen, go throw 400 yards. Josh Allen, go run for three touchdowns, throw no picks, and we're going to maybe win a tight football game against the Ravens. Nope, not anymore. They run the football now, Levi. They play defense. I like it. I think the Bills are our legit team. This could be the closest the Bills have been to the Chiefs in a while. Yeah, well, the, and then the Bills, to be fair, they beat the Chiefs in the regular season back-to-back years. Um, 
it's tough for me with the Bills, but I, I do agree. They're a top 10 team. But, Drew, we got to talk about this. So I'm going to hold off. I want you to show me your number one slide, and then I'm going to make my case for the Texans. But look, give, me your, give me your tier right. one. We got the favorites. We got the 49ers at two and the Chiefs at one. Look, I know the 49ers lost. I don't think I've seen enough. I still think the roster is the best in the league. They had some injuries. Brock Purdy had a bad game. And they faced a Vikings team that, quite frankly, had a lot of confidence and kind of almost a trap game of sorts in week number two. So I'm not worried about the 49ers. I don't think you guys should be worried about the 49ers. And the Chiefs are the Chiefs. So look, Levi, we can split hairs all you want over the Texans, but I got the Texans at four. I like the Texans. No, I agree. We'll we'll see what you. But how much higher do you want to go? Because four is no damn high. The the Texans should be at number two. They and the Niners. The Niners should be probably on tier three. Tier three. One loss, and and you're ready to sell the stock. Yes. Let the ship go down. Because it's a six point loss against the Vikings. Yeah, well, the more concerning thing there is Brock Purdy did not look good. And I okay. think there is... I've seen that before, and I've seen I, I've yeah. seen Brock Purdy being able to but do it do in the playoffs. Better, I mean, the most. Stroud, Allen, or Purdy? Out of those three. Well, thank goodness the football team is 22 players that, that play. And not, well, I'm, I'm going to move on to the other positions, but give me... Who has the best better quarterback out of those three? Obviously, Purdy's three. I'd go Allen one. I'd go Stroud yeah. two. How about receiving core? Receiving core? Give me I take healthy... the Texans right now. No, no. Give me healthy Debo and, and healthy IU. Yeah, I, I think healthy Diggs, Kittle. Diggs, Kittle. Collins. No. Diggs, Nico Collins, Dalton Schultz. That's a good receiving core. Tank I'll Dell take... too, but still, I'm not giving it to if, them. If McCaffrey. So you, you think the Niners have a better receiving core? Healthy, the... healthy. I... Yes. Okay, well, they're not healthy, but that's okay. Again, running back, okay. healthy Good McCaffrey point. is better, but not right now, Mixon. Um, and then look at the defense, Drew. I think the Texans might have the better defense out of all three of those teams. The Bills allowed 34 to – or the Bills allowed 28 to the Cardinals, and the Niners' defense let Sam Darnold go up and down the field on them. Meanwhile, the Texans, they just, they just held the Bears to what, 16 – but Levi, they just let 27 points to the Colts. That's not an elite team by any means offensively. You mean defensively? Well, yes. See, again, no, no, I, I mean the I, Colts that, aren't an elite team offensively. Comes my comes my Colts bias. I just I I believe a lot more in the in the Texans. I think I think the Texans are legitimately the top contender with the. They're Chiefs. a good team. They're top four team. They beat the Colts by two points. And this is a Colts team that you agree with me should be bottom 10. That's true. But the Colts also always play the Texans close. Well, why is that an excuse? That's the same excuse for when the Ravens inevitably lose to the Steelers. Why is that? I mean, okay. All right. I don't know. I I like the Texans. I do. They're 2-0. Okay. And they've won two close games against two bad teams. So it's not ready to put them in my top two right now. Not yeah. better than the Chiefs. I know that. Yeah, I guess I will say you you were lower on both the Bears and Colts than me, so I respect both of those wins, and you might might not. Um, that's okay. But right now, yeah, I would have the Texans over Buffalo. I'd All have right. the Texans over 49ers. But, yeah, ultimately, Drew, I, I like the tiers. I think they're good. Uh, my biggest issue is the Saints, and my other biggest issue is the Niners being at two and not the Texans. So that those are my two right. big issues. Well, Levi, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree, but this is another Coast to Coast Sports Power Rankings. Make sure to tune in to our Week 4 Power Rankings. We'll come out about next week this time. A huge, really fun Week 4 slate. So should be a good one. Looking forward to watching all those games. If you are a Seattle sports fan, the Mariners are still playing. The Seahawks are playing. We got post games over on the Sportscast, which is our other channel, the NW Sportscast, that is. So go over there, check it out. Leave a like on this video if you made it all the way to the end. And Levi, as always. Uh, go Hawks. Yeah, shout out your teams. See you guys. Go Cougs, I guess. I mean, hey, look, Big Apple Cup win. Washington State uh, Cougars, baby. All right, let's uh, not talk about that. How about we'll, it? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see how they play against Boise State, but Washington State right now looking really, really good. Yeah. Okay.
And they beat a bad Washington team. All right. See everybody. 24% chance of the college football playoff. Yeah. Wow. What, what's, what's Syracuse at right now? Uh, are you going to stop the video, Levi? Uh, no, I, I think I had to get that last word in. All right. We'll see you guys next week. I'll see you guys tomorrow.